experience. She always tell me that uh, Putri, no matter what you do, always put the right intention. Because by having the right intention, you will definitely meet success. You know? yeah. And Allah will definitely guide you. Nawaitu, yeah. Nawaitu yeah, no, no, so, and also their blessing. Yeah? Uh, so, so I think my successful story or like whatever achievement I got is definitely because of my mom. I can see because of a prayer, because of a words of encouragement. So I will definitely like look up to her so much until today. And if, uh, but if someone's like outside from my family zone, <laughs> um, I would say I look up to Miss Nina. If in Malaysia, I look up to Miss Nina so much uh, because, because of her stories as a She can definitely bring impacts to someone's life. So uh, when I look at, at her, I feel like I want to be like her. Not because I want to be Miss Nina. It's just that I feel like I want to be the kind of person who can talk effectively, who can touch someone's heart, you know. So yeah, that's why I love her. And then if internationally, uh, I look up to Malala. Malala is like my, I think she is the ambassador of women empowerment. Like, although she was shot in the head by Taliban just because she fought for the right uh, of women education, mm. she is indeed amazing. She still, like, put herself out there and become a voice of education equality for people from all around the world. So I think she is the most uh, amazing person. Who, uh, she's the role model for every young woman out there and also for me. And her journey is inspiring, yeah, because yeah, she, very inspiring. She has went through so much pain, eh? a lot of pain, yeah. and, uh, you know, and she was shot in the head, and she have been through so much, and she's she was sixteen. Yeah, she was sixteen, and she received the Nobel Peace Prize. She was like the youngest person ever received that Nobel Peace Prize. So it, yes. it, it is amazing. Yeah, and, and, and to me, I think women have equal rights to education anywhere, anywhere in the world. Women mm -hmm. need to have education yeah. because education is important for both yeah. men and women, yeah, for boy and girl, yeah. yeah. So education is equal, yeah, for both men and women. And, yeah. and even, even in Islam, there's no barrier. For, for women to have education. So that's why it's, it's important for us, even like Muslim women, to fight for education, to have education, to, ha to have high education, you know, always educate yourself with uh, knowledge, any kind of knowledge um, for you to be a good Muslim. Yeah, and education is really important because education can change the... With education, you can change the world. Yeah. 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 And with education, you know, uh, it opened doors to so many opportunity. So that's why education is really important. And I really admire and look up to Malala Yousafzai as well. She's like, wow. Yeah. Such an inspiration. Yeah, if you listen to her um, videos on YouTube, like she talks very spontaneously, like she talks very casually, you know? Like, like, like she had nothing in the past. She can even like tell her stories um, with a laugh on her face. So I think it's so amazing. <laughs> Okay, so we have come to the last question, the final question, Putri, and the final question for tonight. Okay, the last question would be, what is your advice you know, for the young ladies out there? And also, what is your advice to you know, both uh, men and women, boys and girls who would like to join the military? Um, okay, my advice would be, First, uh, this is for women. 
like for everybody lah, like, not just for women, I think. <laughs> but for young ladies especially, um, I think first thing that you need to have is self love. From what I learned in the military, self love is also self leadership. Okay, it is an act of uh, being responsible of your own decision and action. So make sure that as young ladies, you are not relying on anyone else to make sure that you are fed on time, you slept well, or you exercise regularly. You know, this is not self love. If you depends on what other people tell you, then only you want to do it, then definitely it's, it's not self love. Okay? It's just because people are telling you to do this and people are telling you to do something, then only you do it. All right? So, Self love is supposed to be about what you do to yourself. Okay, it's also about acceptance, being independent, embracing, and take care of whatever God has given you. Okay, whatever God has given you is actually in front of you. Did you? You just have to look for it. You just have to open your eyes. It's in front of you. Okay, you don't have to find it on someone else. Okay, it's in front of you. You just have to find that. Um. Uh, that blessing, that gift that God actually has given you, okay? And practice self-love, all right? Because no one else will do it for you. Um, I actually share this with you because um, I've been a kind of person who rely on someone else also before, you know, especially young girls, you know, being in a relationship, uh, when you uh, dated a guy, you must be like, depends on that guy so much right so after you break up then you feel like the world fall apart like nothing in the in this world can beat your love with, with that guy it's so it's so wrong okay I, I regret having myself in that situation I feel like I shouldn't feel that way at all you know so when you practice self-love you know whenever you are having this kind of situations you will you will able to pull yourself that you know um, that is how you build yourself up so you don't need to depend on other person okay just trust yourself build yourself up right and then next um my advice is always find inspiration because inspiration will lead you to motivations some people like macam tunggu motivation to come so, oh, hari ni aku macam tak semangat lah nak buat apa-apa. Hmm. Because have, why? Because we don't have inspiration. Yeah, we yeah, have to push ourselves. We yeah, have to. See, you have to find something. Yeah. To lean on. Um, like, inspiration can be from someone. Or something that you want to do. You know? Like, when you look at look up at someone. And then you feel like, oh, she's amazing. I wish I could be like that. And so, I will. Right? And so... When you have this mindset, you will definitely start to take action, you know, because you know that you can actually achieve it. Uh, and then if you want to go further, explore yourself. Go and try something new, unlock new skills, and always, always educate yourself. Learn new knowledge, lah, like learn language. Um, as for me right now, I'm learning Mandarin a little bit. <laughs> Uh, never limit yourself okay? so sekarang ni pun dunia di hujung jari saja. like you can learn a lot of things through internet right so it's not an excuse for you at all so last but not least I, I always share this motto to everyone uh, until you spread your wings you will never know how far you can fly so you will never know what you can do unless you try. And that's what I've been doing all my life. That's why you, you see me doing so many things. Because I always just throw myself out there, do things. And then I realize, oh, I can actually do it. You know? So that's, that's my key ingredients of success. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow, Putri. Yeah, and I believe that, you know, we have to be brave to take risks as well as women. Eh? Yeah. We have to take a risk. Because if we don't take the risk, 
we never know whether we can do it or not. Yeah, because yeah. we might have that perasaan takut. Like macam, uh, kalau aku buat benda ni, nanti apa jadi ya? Eh? Uh, tak nak lah, takut lah. And then sometimes we doubt ourselves. Kita rasa kita tak boleh buat. Tapi kita belum buat lagi. We haven't done it yet. And then we already say that we can't do it. Because we're afraid to do it. And we're afraid of what people say. Kan? Yeah. Once we did it, once kita dah boleh buat benda tu, once we have accomplished things, and then you say, hey, aku boleh buat ni. Hey, yeah. I think. Yeah. And then it's all about your mindset. Kita punya mindset ni. It's all about kita punya mindset. Uh, so kita punya mindset ni very powerful. Kalau kita cakap okay. kita boleh buat, kita boleh buat. Macam you kan, macam oh I want to be in military. And you did it. You are in military. And you prove them wrong. Uh, you prove them wrong. And you can do it. Yeah, so yeah. you can swim. You 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 have, you know, you have uh, hold the gun before, right? Yeah. Uh, and then what else? You dah duduk dekat uh, tempat. Like right now, I'm in a new movie also. In the movie, I'm specialized in ammunition and explosive. So I'm a qualified ammunition technical officer. Which is um, definitely a man dominated field. Also, uh, I am the first woman in the Royal Malaysian Navy to join this field. Um, so yeah, please pray for me. Like I hope that uh, more women can join to this field uh, because it's it's really kind of interesting. Although yeah, it's kind of scary lah because uh, we will deal with explosives like bombs, things like that. But I don't know. I just, I, I just feel like it, it's exciting at the same time. Because... Yes, it gives you that adrenaline rush, can? Yes, yes. Watch your video. Can you post your video to and you were like, one, two, three, and I was like, wow, <laughs> and then like, doo -doo 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 -doo. and I was like, whoa, <laughs> it's like a scene that you watch in the movies. What you think about Netflix, plot? But then it's live. Mm -hmm. It's live. It's Putri Shazwani live. Tengah mm -hmm. apa? Tengah melakukan latihan, sesi latihan yeah. di TLDM. It's like, wow. That's mm -hmm. amazing. That's amazing. And then for a woman, you know, in TLDM, that's amazing, Putri. Yeah, thank you, Ka. <laughs> There's a lot of women in the military actually achieve a lot of things. Like, like I believe um, there's women coming from pilot background, um from what else oh there's also women in uh diver not yet engineering yeah engineers mm. doctors Technical doctors. Yeah. we just have to like embrace everybody you know there's a lot of successful women in the military actually Wow. Okay, so we have come to the end of Women Empowerment Series video podcast show. So is there anything else mm -hmm. you would like to share with our audience today? Um, first of all, I just want to say thank you, Kak Faisha, for having me tonight. The most <laughs> and you are yeah, such I am just, yeah, I'm so sorry. You are an amazing woman. Amazing woman. <laughs> brandy, yeah? Yeah. Sangat -sangat brandy. Brandy. You're very brave. Yeah, you're very brave, and not everyone can can be in military. Ah, uh, not everyone. It's just my destiny. Yeah. Seriously, I, I seriously seriously think it is my destiny to be here because I never thought of being in a military at the first place. It's just that God has drive me to this path, so I will embrace it. I will do my best, inshallah. I I hope to be one successful naval officer one day. And to everyone out there, just believe in yourself. Like Kaparisha said, yeah, it's, it's all about your mindset. It's all about your as mindset. As as you put your heart and your mind to it. Inshallah, you can do anything. Yes, you can do anything. It's all about your mindset. Yeah, mindset and also usaha. You have to work for it. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And it doesn't fall from the sky. Uh, it doesn't, apa? Benda tu tak turun daripada langit. Kalau kita nak, kita kena usaha. We have to usah her for it. We have to work hard at it to achieve it. But once we get it, once we achieve it, we feel, wow, 
wow wow I did it yeah so, so you're like macam wow macam tak percaya kan like macam wow wow I did it so benda yang you think that oh this is impossible lah hmm, susah lah benda ni aku tak boleh buat lah uh, nak give up lah uh, because setengah orang like macam dia dia mindset macam kalau yang tak kuat tu hmm, uh, tak tahan lah uh, tak nak buat lah uh, how can you say tak nak buat when you don't even try it Uh, so, dia tak boleh buat separuh jalan. You have to do it wholeheartedly. 100%. It's like me yeah, when... Exactly. Yeah, 100%. 100%, 100%. It's like me when I first started my Women Empowerment Series podcast back in 2019. 2019, I got start. I think that hmm, benda ni macam susah je. But then bila I dah buat, Now it's 2021 and I'm still doing it. Yeah. 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 So, so, so it's all about it's all about you punya mindset, you punya determination, yeah. you punya drive. Ah uh, kalau your mindset positif, benda tu akan jadi. If your mindset is strong, you can turn it turn anything into magic, kan? Ah uh, so you can turn things into reality if your mindset is strong your mindset yeah. sangat kuat you can turn it into reality yeah so you just have to believe in yourself you have to step outside of your comfort zone you can keluar daripada zone selesa you because if you terlalu dalam you punya comfort zone you won't learn anything because you're too comfortable you can keluar yeah, daripada betul. zone selesa you once you come out of your comfort zone that is when you discover yourself That is when yeah, you discover yourself and that is where do you discover your true potential and that is when you can see your achievement. The things that you can accomplish when you get out of your comfort zone. So you yeah. have to be comfortable being uncomfortable. Uh, true. So, uh, Because so, actually discomfort yeah. brings you ease. Betul. And then you yeah. can brandy, take risks. Take risks. Buat salah tak apa. You make mistakes. It's fine. Everybody yeah. makes mistakes. We learn from it. We learn from our mistakes. I make mistakes and it's fine. It's trial and error. Kalau kita tak cuba, kita tak tahu. So it's okay to take risks. You kena berani ambil risiko. Take risks. Take the challenge. Yeah, you have nothing to lose. Take the challenge. Berani. And then explore benda baru. Uh, like Putri said, like what? Something new that you've never done before, right? Uh, take up a new hobby. Uh, so let's say yeah. macam... So, macam for example, you want to challenge yourself. Uh, you nak belajar apa? Uh, bahasa Mandarin or you nak belajar bahasa Perancis. You want to learn French. Uh, it's stepping out of your comfort zone because you're learning yep. a new language. Yeah, you're yes, stepping exactly. outside of your comfort zone. You're learning something new. Or let's say, for example, you nak ambil cooking class. You want to learn baking. Uh, that is also stepping outside of your comfort yeah. zone because you've never mm-hmm. done baking before and you nak belajar masak. You nak belajar masak, you nak belajar baking, buat kek, buat muffin, buat red velvet, buat kuih. And that is a skill. Yeah. yeah And it, it can be anything. Vocal classes, you nak belajar menyanyi, nak belajar menari, nak belajar menari hip hop. Do things that make you happy. Do things that is outside of your comfort zone. Do things that you have never done before. Do things that you rasa impossible. Masuk competition. Uh, masuk yeah. competition, challenge yourself. Uh, so challenge yourself, um, you menang ke, tak menang ke, it's okay as long as you challenge yourself and you have fun. Uh, you have fun entering the competition. Tak menang, tak apa. Kalau menang, Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you just, you know, challenge yourself. Do new things. And that's a competition within yourself actually. Yeah. And that's exactly what I did. Uh, I take the risk. I take the risk and um, I make mistakes. It's fine because you yeah. learn. Uh, yeah. Learning curve. You make mistakes, tak apa. Because if you don't make mistakes, uh, we're not human lah. We're human. That's why we make mistakes. Yeah. So you have to take the risk, embrace cha- change, go through the challenges. And that is what makes life interesting. Kita kena berani. Uh, hati tu kena kental ha, jiwa tu kena kental gitu. Uh, so we have to be really really brave and 
it's okay to make mistakes. It's fine. It's okay to cry. I cry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's okay to cry. We're, we're human. Kan? Kita manusia biasa. Yeah. It's okay to make mistakes. As long as, you know, in our journey, you know, we go through the challenges. We learn. Most important thing is we learn from the experience. Apa the key takeaway ni? Apa the uh, lesson learned? Yes, lesson learned is important. Yeah. It's self-reflection. Yes, and uh, what you mentioned just now, self-love. Self-love is very important. You have to love yourself. You have to love yourself. Self-care. Self-care and self-love. Yeah. So when you love yourself, you know, people can see it. It shines on you. Orang boleh nampak if you practice self-love and care. Yeah. yeah, and and people will you see self love in me. Huh? <laughs> Can yeah. you see my self love? <laughs> yes, nampak sangat. Ah, <laughs> uh, nampak okay. sangat self love and care you too, and it's really important because when we practice self love and care, this will bring a vibration now. Uh, yeah. so macam the law of attraction, uh, the law of attraction that attracts people. You know, that attracts people to us, uh, our energy, our vibe, mm-hmm. our positivity, self-love and self-care. Yeah? Self-love and self-care are very important because when we love ourselves, we have to love ourselves first. That is very yeah. important. Self-love and self-care. Okay, Putri, we've come to the end of the show, Women Empowerment Series. Okay, for those of you who are watching this, I hope that you are inspired, motivated by Putri Shazwani sharing just now. And uh, be sure to follow Women Empowerment Series video podcast. And I wish you all the best. Stay safe and take care. Bye.